Hey, what is up, you guys, and welcome back to the 423. Last night's episode of Marriage Boot Camp was an intense one where we finally got to see the results of all the couples and their lie detector tests. And after the episode aired, Tammy Rivera took to Instagram to air out her grievances against WeTV and the production team for the show, claiming that they edited a scene of her and Waka Flocka into something that it totally wasn't. So after the couples take their lie detector tests, they're all sent to go blow off some steam in a strip club, but the men and women are surprised when they learn that they were all sent to the same one. And once they discover that, they pretty much all just want to go back to the house. In the last two minutes of the episode, Waka says that the alcohol kicked in, so he's trying to go back home, basically implying he wants to go back to the house to have sex with Tammy. And after that, he's standing outside seemingly flirting with a random girl, he says, look at here, baby, what that shit cost, cause I'm a baller. Then Tammy responds in a separate clip saying, you know that shit is crazy. And in an interview segment back at the house, she says, you know, it's like, who's this my husband is talking to? Cut to Waka saying, I'm still a player, man. Let me calm the F down. And then Tammy walks by Waka and says, I swear to God, I'm going the F off. I don't think that shit cool at all before storming onto the bus by herself. So, in response to this clip, Tammy is saying that the show was edited to make it look like her and Waka were fighting, but really, she was arguing with production about security issues. She posted screenshots of her text with her castmates talking about the editing discrepancy, then posting a long caption explaining her situation. Tammy wrote, Tonight's episode of Marriage Boot Camp was full of shit. The whole episode. I know y'all want to make a good show, but not at the expense of our real lives. We all felt it was some capping going on when Jessica's test came back with deception. Yeah, okay. But to know the obstacles me and my husband been through and edit a whole effing lie is playing with our whole life like Dime said. I was arguing with production for having us out at a strip club in LA with no real security wide open. My husband wasn't tripping, but I was. Because I have to watch his back as his wife, so I went the F off. Streets don't give a damn about no TV shit. I must say everything has been real and truthful up until this episode and I'm disappointed that our real personalities, arguments, laughter, and struggles wasn't enough for you guys that you had to spice it up by editing a straight lie. And in her text to Tiffany, Lil Mo, Jessica, and Nia, they all basically confirm and agree with Tammy that the situation was misconstrued. I can definitely see how production edited this situation into something different because in the entire clip, Tammy and Waka aren't talking directly to one another except for right before she storms off. So I do believe that the show made drama out of nothing, even though Waka was talking to a girl. The storyline for Waka and Tammy the whole season has been about his past infidelities, so I can understand why production would think it's easy to edit that situation into something about him trying to cheat, though I'm sure Waka knows better to not completely flirt with another woman in front of his wife. As for Jessica's lie detector test coming back saying she wasn't honest about not cheating, we really don't know the truth here and we probably won't. It would be pretty crazy for the show to have everyone believing that she cheated on Sean when she really didn't, but I personally think it's probably more a situation where the test itself was inaccurate. I mean, we all saw Lil Mo's husband talking about how to beat a lie detector test, so I'm sure all of that works the other way around too. But of course, I want to know what you guys think about this. Do you think that the people over at Marriage Boot Camp edited a completely fake scene about Waka and Tammy? Or do you think that she's trying to cover something up? Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Subscribe to the 423 for more videos. And if you like this one, just give it a quick thumbs up. That is it for today. I will see you guys next time. Bye.